Yeah, besides that Club Series Finals. Last night, around 10 o'clock, he turned his phone off, put it into airplane mode, and went into focus mode. I saw. I went to the hotel this morning around 7 a.m. to get a dental kit. He was already leaving the hotel at that time to come here and get practice reps. So nobody that I've seen so far at this event has been more focused than Books. Uh, I forgot. It's Sunday. That's the day that you actually brush your teeth. <laughs> This <laughs> fucking shots out here, dude. Where's the chemistry? My Let's goodness, where's the love culture? Let's take a look at these picks: Night Train Lane and Deion Sanders. Now you got me feeling subconscious <laughs> about my breath. No, I'm just, Night Train Lane, Deion Sanders, that tip drill ability, not active. Then you got Randy Moss. And Ocho Cinco, no playmaker active for them, so he gets the bootleg version of playmaker. And then his favorite quarterback in the NFL, the conductor, Matt Stafford, who he feels very confident about and is going to be running that Jets offense for him. Well, on the other side, it is franchise. This time, covering up the lettuce with his hat that says famous. Uh, for some reason, doesn't have a question mark at the end. Yeah, you see Burbank Chai's right there, 25 years old from New York. He owns his own eSport company. You see his jersey right there, Adult eSports. He is the only Madden player on that team, and it, he is here to represent. But like you said, it's going to be interesting to see how can he keep his cool because this is a guy that has been known to get rowdy up there on the main stage. Well, he's got the black and red on, and let's take a look at his money picks. And surprise, surprise, Night Train Lane, Deion Sanders. <laughs> <laughs> Groundhog's Day Part 2, right? No, those abilities are not active on those items. He just has them. Here, the playmaker is active for Randy Moss and Ocho Cinco. Staples on everybody's team. And Aaron Rodgers with that conductor ability, another very popular quarterback that we've seen throughout this entire tournament. If you haven't tried any of these guys yet and you're still playing Ultimate Team, I suggest you go hit that auction house. Well, let's take a look at our scouting report this time. Of course, brought to you by Xbox. And for Boogs, it's put on for the family for the first time ever. He has his wife, Alex, and daughters, Ariana and Alea in attendance here today watching him play Coltrane. Not a lot of people get that opportunity to put on for the fam at the live event. Boogs needs to take advantage of that. Well, either that's motivation or some extra pressure. Oh, how cute is that? Aww. That is absolutely adorable. I can't handle that. Well, what about for franchise? For franchise, do not talk yourself out of the game. When you speak to him, he is a good player. He understands this game and he has good schemes. The problem for him is he's been known to get way too rowdy and then psych himself out and make bad decisions. If you're franchise, you need to clean that up, focus on the task at hand, and get the job done because you know what going up against Boogs, he's going to be locked in, not giving you an inch. Well, here we go. The opening kickoff, Boogs. Of course, still repping Detroit, even though he's from Hotlanta. And the Jets, congratulations, franchise. You picked the ugliest uniforms in the game. That's gross. Wow, look at those, huh? <laughs> that is gross. Not bad. First and 10. Needs a big drive here. Runs it underneath, that's Coleman. So he got Tevin Coleman in the backfield. Aaron Rodgers will be the point man, and then Randy Moss and Chad Johnson getting it done on the outside. Yeah, we can expect both of these players to see a lot of that 11 personnel with three wide receivers, one tight end, and one halfback out there on the field. Rodgers throwing deep into the sideline. No. Ran out of real estate down there. Wow, that looked like a play franchise had in his back pocket. The way he waited for that to develop and go deep, you got to think that's something he's been practicing, just wasn't able to execute it right there. Boots has to be ready for that later on because his receiver did get a step. Third and 12, Rodgers throws it to Randy Moss, and now fourth and manageable, and here comes the tempo. It almost feels like every first drive comes down to this fourth and manageable Coltrane. Three yards a game. Got to watch this little out route from the halfback. Doesn't go there. That's way too late. Way too late. Wow. Going to be a short field for Bugs. 
one of the most prolific offenses in our field of 32. And boy, these are almost giving me points. Got to be careful. Yeah, you don't want to give Boogs a lot of points, but the reason we talk about it all the time, people go for it on fourth down so often, is we're only playing five-minute quarters with a 30-second play clock in competitive Madden. It's not like real football. You need to maximize on every one of your possessions here at this tournament, Coltrane. So first and ten for Boogs. He's got Stafford. That's how big of a Lions fan he is. But he loves them, and he goes to Cook. I, I, picks up a quick eight. I asked him about that Matt Stafford item, and he said, no, I'm not picking him because I'm a fan of him. I, he said he's, Boogs has said he's tried out many quarterbacks, and this just happens to be the one that plays the best for him and for his style of offense. That's the 95 team MVP. Wait a minute, Boogs Matt is out Stafford. of bunch. Stop the presses. It's a split back formation for Boogs. And he'll run out of that to Chris Ivory. And he'll actually lose a yard. Zach, give us an update. Scott, something very scary has occurred. Looks like Volterax perhaps found some defense. Gets a sack, a fumble, and he recovers it. Takes over at midfield with three to go in the first. The swerve bot finds defense. It's pretty scary. It's not good news for the rest of the field. And Chris Ivory able to pick up the first down. That's that gold Thanksgiving edition Chris Ivory item, 82 overall. That Boogs is rocking with right there. Sounds delicious. I love Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's like my holiday. I don't have to do anything but eat and watch football. Oh, and then leftovers? Up. Oh, don't yeah. get me going into leftovers. Leftover ham sandwich? Come on now. Forget about it. First and ten from the red zone. Ivory. Rumbling, bumbling, stumbling down to the 10. That's another first down. A nice little cutback by Ivory. You see this halfback draw. Boom, right in towards the middle of the field. And with a big back like Ivory, he might not have all the agility in the world, but he is fantastic at falling forward. Did a great job setting up that block before he cut it upfield. Look at this. Boog's back in the two back. Does he have a pass play out of this formation? You got to assume he's running your franchise he's gonna go to the air and knock down great defense that was night train lane coming from the corner position I like that from Boogs though even though he didn't complete the pass Coltrane what he showed franchise right there though is when I do go to that two split back formation I am willing to pass the ball so you better not sell out on the run 10 yards to go it's not not second and goal, but it might as well be. That first down marker is right oh my God. on the goal lines. Yeah, it's not even. Up under center's bugs now. And he's going to lose a yard, so that's going to bring up third and 11. You got to think, does he go to the Skimbo's vertical play right here, where you motion out that uh, outside flank or wide receiver, let him set, run the wheel route to, up the sideline. And a lot of people's favorite play in this situation. Something about the old school unis. Two bar helmets. Very vintage. He motions out Ocho this way. You got to watch out for that route. Goes quick and it's picked off. Let's go. And that was huge. Boy, Night Train Lane has come to play for franchise. Wow, look at this come flat on, zoner just come down there and make a play on the late throw to the flats from Boogs, an unlikely mistake from Reginald Brown, the 29-year-old. Currently resides in Atlanta, Georgia, reps Detroit, Michigan. From the old Motown to the new Motown, the Motown of the South. That was huge, Scott, for franchise, and he's not the type of dude you want to give momentum to. You want to make him really earn his momentum. You see, he feeds off of that. Immediately got him animated. Going to move him around, rocking the famous hat. Recently engaged as well. Congratulations to my guy, Franchise. Yeah, we can finally say that, right? They were keeping it under wraps, but he finally told his pops. So his pops knows. Told his pops that yeah, this happened. Second and 12. Throws it out of his own end zone. And knocked away. It's going to bring up a big third and 12. Zach, what's up? 
We got a field goal for Volterax, 3-0. Look, he didn't get the ball first, but he's got the lead first. Carey's trying to find a way to answer. And if Volt can beat Carey, Carey's the one guy that can really lock him up. That would be huge for Volt. Yes, he took the words right out of my mouth, Coltrane. In the last event, Volterex didn't make it out of his group going two and one. That one loss coming from none other than Carey Q. Yeah, picked him off two or three times in that game. Third and 12 for Franchise. Oh, and hello! Big time pick by Bugs. And Franchise tries to playmaker the receiver. Boogs comes down and said there's no playmaking here unless it's for my team. That was a huge play from Boogs to get back the momentum. That wasn't Dion. That was Sean Taylor, At right line. outside linebacker. Yes, that's an out-of-position item where instead of Sean Taylor being a safety, they have him a line at linebacker. It's an expensive item, too. He takes a lot of caps, Scott, but well, very effective. We got an interception fest. You can buy your hat at the merchandise stand. <laughs> that was a huge play by Boogs, and we talked about put on for the fam one time, and you get get a stop, get to the red zone, get a turnover, lose your momentum, but then punch Franchise right in the mouth to take the ball right back. You need an answer if you're Boogs. Well, you got this momentum. Franchise spent the most cap on defense. Which is interesting, because Boogs spent the second most cap on his receivers. That solves a good offensive-defensive matchup. Yeah, number two overall defensive cap on his D-line. And we've seen some block shed so far from Franchise. Yeah, he does have some good people on that defense. He's running that Jacksonville Jaguars defensive playbook, which is very popular. It has the nickel and the 4-6 formations in it. And that's what people love about that playbook, Coltrane. Got J.J. Watt down there on the line. Got to be a guy you watch for. Third and seven. Third and seven, you're right. Pass, and there's oh, another interception. That's twice. That is twice. Franchise ain't lying to him. And if we look at this replay, this is uncharacteristic from Boogs. He just throws right at Franchise. There was never any space there. That's just a blatantly bad read. And we do not see that often from Boogs at all. Jack Youngblood just got an interception. <laughs> What's he doing in coverage, huh? <laughs> Making it happen. Get after the quarterback, Youngblood, though, huh? Bold move right there by Franchise, but you don't want to argue with the results, huh? Second and nine as we move into the second quarter. Nothing's happened. Nah, but it's still popping, isn't it? <laughs> nothing, yeah. nothing, but four interceptions in the first quarter. A lot of emotion from Franchise. They have not taken care of the onion. Playing for a whole bunch of onions right now. Get out of this group. Get yourself an additional five racks. This is the opening game of group, well, the last group. Group H, group uh -oh. hell. Oh, boots. And these fortunate. guys are in a hell game so far. He was fortunate that didn't go to the cribbo, Scott. There was a huge hole for that running back with a lot of space in front of him. Franchise with the base gold, 72 overall, Tevin Coleman which may explain a little bit why he wasn't able to get on his horse right there and make a big play out of that. You're just joining us, Dubby and Hollywood move on from Group G. Bugs and Franchise as Bugs brings in Night Train Lane and you got Volt. Bugs plays and tough Q. defense. I, I had the privilege to hop on the sticks for a few minutes with Bugs in the practice lounge. And when I tell you I couldn't get a first down, Scott, I couldn't get a first down. First and ten. Oh, he throws it right at his user and fits it in there. Third and two. Wow, this is where things are going to get stinged. If you're boots, you need to be careful on guarding all the short stuff and not give up the big play. A lot of people like to throw this table route and the tight end into the flats right here. Got some room. He might take off and run. He will. Will you slide down, Ball's young out. man? And we it's out. Oh, wow. it. I was about to say we had another turnover. Oh, this but is franchise 
fumbles it for the first down. And that was a huge strip by Boogs. Runs over, gets the hit on Rodgers, but the defense can't come over and make a play for him once Rodgers puts it on the ground. Back to Coleman, and he doesn't get much. Zach, what's going on in the other game? Scott, what do you think? After a fumble, Volt takes over. Fourth and seven from his <laughs> own 10. What else? But a 90-yard touchdown on Kerry, the swerve. Swerve, bot, engage. Yeah, that swerve exploit, Coltrane. It's something that it, it's considered an exploit amongst the community, but a lot of top players feel that they can stop that. But there's something special about Volterex. He is literally the best in the world at that exploit, and he, it is way more difficult than it normally is to stop his version of that exploit. He is the best in the world at it. Says he plays Madden like it's an arcade game. Not afraid to do what's effective, and here comes a big fourth and five. What do you do? You saw a franchise try to swerve right there. <laughs> Not as crispy as Volts. No. Um, if you franchise, I guess you're going to go for it here. You, you got to assume you have a five-yard play. You've been playing good defense. But you need to convert here because it's only a matter of time before Boogs is going to be able to put a drive together and get himself in the end zone. He's an offensive specialist, and you won't keep him out the end zone for long. Rodgers looking over the middle and can't hold on. Boy, he looked like he had it. Des Bryant thought it was a catch. And here's the thing, we, the key to the game is don't talk yourself out the game franchise. He hasn't done a lot of talking, but every time he makes a play, he gets up, he yells, he beats his chest. But we're not able to do anything with it yet. You got to convert if you're going to get animated, Fran. Well, we had seven minutes go by, and we're still 0-0. Zero, zero. After a turnover oh fast, and he almost threw another one. Oh, what is going man. on with Boogs? That's so excited. It was all about Jack Youngblood in coverage so again. What? Uh, this is so <laughs> uncharacteristic of Boogs. It's uncharacteristic for Youngblood to be in coverage, but I never see him throw into coverage this often. Either Franchise is playing good defense to throw him off his game, or he's just not as focused as he normally is. There's some heat. There he finds go. Randy Moss in the red zone at the 16-yard line. Right, let's blow this dude out. Yeah, Boog's saying to himself, all right, let's blow this dude out. And he is a confident young man. Yeah. He doesn't say much, but he does not lack confidence. Throw to the outside, Marvin Harrison. What's Boog's got there, the Iron Man controller? Look little, at little that. Gold, that little red. Good observation right there. That is a nice control. The, the sticks that all of these guys have brought to the tournament have been phenomenal, huh? If you're a pro Madden player, though, you don't take your controller lightly. No. Go get yourself a nice one. You need a good one, you need accessorize. And if you're spot me, please, you get one that's meant for an eight year old. The little mini me. First and goal from the four. There goes Ivory. And Ivory shakes a tackle down to the two. That's, you get a guy with good carry, big guy like you and me, always falling forward. Yep, and we talked about it, and you saw him. He got that battle ready activated as well, too. Well, he doesn't have the battle rel ability. He entered a tackle battle. Yes. Which means the button popped up. He pressed mm. it first, and that allowed him to shrug the tackle off. Fall forward for some extra yards. Franchise looking a little demoralized right there, huh? A little frown. <laughs> Telestrator's tough when people are always moving around. <laughs> I'll get better though. It's tough. Tough to hit a moving target. You gotta have good reads. Man, that's why I don't play, that's why I don't play competitive Madden no more. Second goal from the two. Goes back to Ivory and Night Train Lane is a beast. We always talk about it. The meta you see from these players is they go and get defensive backs that are versatile enough to play coverage but can also lay a hit and force those fumbles because we know turnovers wins games and one of the best ways to cause turnovers in Madden football is that big hit fumble. So third and goal. You call it the red zone, I call it the dead zone. Oh, it's been dead, all the way dead so far in this donuts game. Donuts to donuts. The whole time, too, it's been in Boogs' area of the field. Boogs is stuck down here, and Franchise can't get out of their area either. Something has to give. Single back, two tight ends. Harrison to the left, Johnson to the right. And he will give it to Ivory, and Ivory will muscle in, and we got our first touchdown of Group H. There you go, Boogs. Way to get yourself some momentum. And I told you, Coltrane, you can't keep a guy like Boogs out of the end zone for long. It's only a matter of time before he gets that offense rolling. 
Kick is up. And it is good. Take a look at it again, RG. Nice stretch call. Gets outside the tackles and Chris Ivory doing what he do. So seven nothing here. Now franchise won't have a short field. Let's go to Zach. What's going on with the swerve bot? Scott, this time it's Kerry, and he's carrying the rock all the way down the field. Doesn't fumble, hangs on, breaks the big time run. He's got it 10-7. And we know Boots has his family in the crowd, but let's not forget about yeah. Grandpa Volt. Grandpa Volt, Volt is here. Grandpa here. He flew this time, by the way. Yeah, didn't drive. Let's go, big play, Slay. That's just a maturation, you know? Drive it once, you you, you experience that. You, <laughs> you, you live learn and, you learn. and move on. Even when you're a grandpa. Plus, you know, we, we go East Coast, West Coast. That's a good way to get some miles. Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> Finally signed up for all my rewards. Second and ten. Ball at the 25. Bunch to the right. Gonna need to an answer that Boogs touchdown with 150 left in the half. Play action and screaming. Here's one of the problems franchise is facing is he is looking to run this gun bunch and this gun wide trips. <laughs> Problem for him is Skimbo runs a lot of gun bunch, Boogs runs gun bunch, and Dubby runs wide trips. Who do you think Boogs practices with? Skimbo and Dubby. So he's going to be very well prepared for these offensive plays that franchise is trying to use on him right here. This is all stuff Boogs is very familiar with. Yeah, no doubt that. Franchise is an underdog in this one going up against Boogs. Boogs number six in the world of Madden. And there is another blitz off the edge. Big fourth down kind of. Let's take a game break with Zach. Scott, we don't miss touchdowns over here. Wanted to fill you in on some action. It's Volt keeping it on the ground, looking electric all the way to the end zone. 17 7 going into the half. Well, I know we're on the NFL network next week, but. Zach is straight red zone right now. Yeah, doing his best handsome impression out there, yeah. huh? So ball now at the 40. I think Farles could give old Hanson a run for his money. Farles is great, but Hanson is phenomenal. That guy's a vet, man. It is amazing. First and 10 from the 40. Stafford goes to work for Bugs, and he's just going to throw it away. Got to be careful here with 67 seconds left in the half. Yeah, you don't want to turn the ball over on, on your side of the field. You've been playing phenomenal defense. Franchise hasn't even really been able to get into your territory. But if you're Bugs, you're confident in your offense. You got your reads down. You saw him throw the ball away when he was under pressure. I expect him to make something happen on this drive, goal train. Couldn't get his feet in bounds. Just 4 of 10 for the man that's usually very accurate in the passing game. Yeah, you're not lying. His passing yards per game, he ranks six amongst all competitors. In pass attempts per game, he ranks fifth. So this is a guy in Boogs that we know can come out here and slang the rock. So a third and 10. Needs about 20 yards. He's got Matt Prater. And that's not gonna do it yet. Tell you, you got a punt. You know what? I do a lot of giveaways. We give away codes, that kind of thing. It's been giving away the football. That's what's been the storyline here in the first half. Oh, yeah, look at that. You see five of them already in the first half. That is not something you expect to see when two high-level players match up like this, but we're at the Madden Championship, Coltrane. Anything could happen. Speaking of giveaways, you know, they love when we give away those Dion codes <laughs> and all that stuff to the live audience at these things. We need to find a way to get some Joey Bosa codes in the next event. He's made a, made a huge... Huge difference. Maybe not in real football, but in virtual football, he's been pretty good. All my people back at EA, get me some Bosa codes. First and 10. And he will throw it to no one. Unbelievable, dog. Two of 12. <laughs> Come on, man. 
two I of twelve, RG. Usually I don't like when people complain, but you know what? If I'm franchise, I don't know if I can help myself with this situation. <laughs> two of twelve is completely out of line here. Especially you got Keenan Allen, Randy Moss, Ocho Cinco, Aaron Rodgers. Well, a lot of that is he can't get the, you know he can't get the pass off. Yep. Just screaming, so a lot of his passes have just been. And you don't know where the pressure comes from. It's either from there or from there. And in that situation, it comes from the far right. And he tries to get away. You got to be careful right there. It's not worth holding on to it. You just throw it away unless he wanted to work the clock there. Oh, yeah. We saw what happened to Misery yesterday. About 12, 16 seconds left in the half. Goes to chuck it deep downfield. Bosa hits him. Sean Taylor picks it off off the hit. Free touchdown for Lowe's before the half. His cruise is halfway to Hawaii by now. I think he's doing okay. That's screaming. Third and 11. Big play. That's a big catch out down the 40-yard line. And I do got to say, as bad as franchise has been playing so far in this game, Coltrane, it's still only a one-score game. Yep. This is completely up for grabs. Well, he's done a nice job on defense. That's two interceptions. And it goes to Keenan Allen again. So all of a sudden, Allen becoming a problem. And he'll use a timeout at the 37-yard line. He's got a 65 overall kicker in Jordan Gay for the Buffalo Bills. Uh, you're going to need a few more yards. Yeah. Uh, if, you know. We saw what he did for Figgy. You want to ask Figgy? Yeah, you want to ask Figgy about Jordan Gay yep. tanking that kicker. He tanked one off the crossbar, I can tell you that. Do I dare mention Ghost Madden? <laughs> He throws it away. Can't take a sack here. That's the one thing you can't do. And that was the turning point in that Dubby Figgy game. That it absolutely was. Yeah, that's a really good point, Coltrane. Momentum escaped him. Play action. Rodgers spinning in the pocket. Throw it deep. Boy. Boy. Yeah, I, I agree with Franchise there. Rodgers has been wildly inaccurate for him right now. He had that deep bomb earlier in the game, threw it out of bounds, had a step right there, threw it out of bounds. Four for 16, 66 yards. Is this the version of Aaron Rodgers that broke up with Olivia Munn? This is, is this post-breakup, Rodgers? Must be. The evening, evening of. of. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Day of breakup, Rodgers. And he's going to run it here and pick up two yards. So it's going to be a 52-yarder. Let's see if Bugs decides to. Uh, Got to watch him come and run that edge to block that kick. He's going to call a timeout here. And so Bugs won't be able to ice him. A couple of things you got to watch out for. You got to watch out for the block, and you got to watch out for the fake. That would be absolute savage right now. And he. Well, it's going to swerve in there, but it's just going to get over the crossbar. Wow. Jordan K getting it done right there. It was looking like it was going to go wide left. And so, Kurt. Franchise gets on the board right at the end of the half. A buzzer beater field goal, and it's 7-3. to three. I recommend that you might want to get yourself a caffeine beverage. This one's, although we've had a lot of turnovers, it's been a little bit of a snooze fest starting this one. I've enjoyed the action. <laughs> I like I, I like a good defensive battle, and I love when Ma high level Madden is a close game. And you got two players in franchise and books that really want this moment right here. To start off one and zero in your group is a huge deal. Franchise doing a good job of keeping us cool thus far. Boog still in control, trying to put on in front of the fam. I can't wait for the second half. My favorite thing in life is to troll RG. I, I can tell. <laughs> it's all day up here, huh? <laughs> We've had a good time thus far. we still got three games to go. It's 7-3 to three at halftime. Franchise is going to have to get back into this game. He's going to have some halftime to think about it. Let's go to Dave and the guys. Thanks a lot, gentlemen. Scott, A1 job so far on trolling RG. Keep it up. Fellas, in this game we saw here... Kind of a weird one. You know, a lot of turnovers, some bad reads, a lot of incompletions. Rico, what did you see in that first half? I saw Boogs <clears throat> not make the reads he's normally used to. Normally, he looks for more wide open pass. Looked like he was trying to force it. Not sure. Family in town, wanting to show the kids, wanting to show the wife. He needs to get back, get focused, and get to business. Franchise, if you told him you'd be 
down seven to three against Bugs, you'd hold Bugs to this kind, you'd have these kind of turnovers, he would be absolutely ecstatic. You know what he would say? He'd be like, I scored three points. All right. <laughs> but no, but seriously, he has a great, great defense, and he needs to use every single element of it to defend against Boog's prolific offense. But if you're franchise, you got to find one of those plays to potentially get like a defensive touchdown. You saw him get the field goal there. His defense is good enough to stop Boog's, but can he generate just some points? And it's not helping him that Aaron Rodgers, the guy he spent all that cap on, is overthrowing. You know, he worked a lot on his offense since the challenge. It's, and it's just not clicking, and it's kind of based on a lot of the players. He had the fumble recovery luck, so got to get something working in the second half yeah, of the franchise. Yeah, you heard Franchise say during that game, my quarterback's let me down. We'll see if that turns around in the second half. But, Zach, we have another close game going on actually right now between Carey and Volterax. Yeah, what happened in this first half? You know, Carey running the ball, we've seen him run that scheme quite a bit to stretch. Unfortunate fumble for him, and it leads to this fourth and seven downfield Swerve for a touchdown for Volt, but Kerry sticks with the ground game. He punches one in, but Volt, he can go on the ground too. He doesn't always have to go through the air. He takes the 17 7 lead before the half. Kerry on his first drive after the half, boom, gets it much, much closer 17 14. And right now, the score we're looking at is 24 14. We'll keep you up on all the action in that game. But a little bit of a surprise, Kerry not defending that swerve a little bit better. He knew coming into it he wanted to. He's got special players on his team to defend it that uh, we can talk about. But, Rico, you just think it's, it, it, you know, undefendable? And, no, no. I spoke with Kerry in the hotel for at least 20 minutes. He said this is the biggest game of his life. He gave me the complete big game. I'm ready to go. This is my time. I'm going 3-0. and I made these specific picks for this. You saw I locked the vault last time. I guarantee you there's no way I'm going to lose. So that's why we knew he was going to lose. That's right. That big game speech is never, never a good sign never. before the game. I want to remind everybody who's at home that the championship packs are now available. Each pack contains a championship player from a winning EA Major roster. Collect these championship players to earn one of three 99 overall champions players designed by our EA Major winners. Now, coming up, we are still moving through Group H here. Boogs, after franchise, will take on the Swerve Bot, as Scott has been calling him, Volterax, and then Carry to finish it up. But right now, we've got Drea with franchise on the field. Drea? Thanks so much, Dave. Well, franchise, you played well defensively so far, but offensively, you struggled. How do you get more out of drives and just move the chains better, get into more of a rhythm in the second half on that side of the ball? I just got to do what I prepared with. You know, I just got to play with the game plan that I had coming in here and stick to it. What was that game plan? Just be me. Simple as that <laughs> overall. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, that's amazing. Well, tell me a little bit about this hat. I know that Scott and RG were talking about it. What's up with Famous? I know the Madden community knows about you. You're trying to get on some other levels. What's up? I mean, I've been doing this for a long time, and, you know, Throughout my entire life, regardless of whatever I've been working to and, and, and doing, uh, you know, I've always represented. And this is, uh, you know, a little bit of a good luck charm for me. So, uh, you know, I'm just going to do my thing today. You're going you're gonna to rock with it. Well, I know that usually you're one of the most upbeat and energetic players in Madden. You've been very even keel today. What has changed in this championship for you? Well, you know, RG said something that, you know, last tournament that sometimes I might let my emotions get to the best of me. You so, did say that. you know, I'm, you know, taking that little bit of advice. Also, you know, Boog's got his family here and, you know, I'm trying to show the man some respect as well. Wow. So it's all about respect. Appreciate that. hundred percent. Cause that's what our community is about. No doubt. Well, let's send it to Scott and RG for the second half. All right. Thanks so much. Trail. Well, I can tell you what, he didn't wear the hat last time and he went 0 and 3. I'll tell you what, the caster team, all you trolls could take a page <laughs> out of my guy franchise's <laughs> playbook and show some respect. All the trolling going on over here on Aji. Because <laughs> we can do that. We can, yeah. I had some red velvet cake earlier. It was that delicious. Look good. That looked really good. I didn't eat it, though. I'm trying to well, I'm proud back. of you. I'm Thank proud you. of you, RG. You. Brushing your teeth and not eating cake in the same day. You're Mark growing. Fire. You're growing. Let's go back to the second half here. Seven to three. Bugs with the lead. Seen a lot of turnovers here in this first half. Yeah. Let's see if Bugs can get this offense going in the second half. I've never seen him this off balance on offense and I expect them to correct these things. This is a guy that plays against world class competition on the regular and I'm just not used to seeing him only put up seven points in the first half, especially when he had as many opportunities as he did poultry. Well, he'll go to work and start the half and Marvin Harrison 
But I'm telling you, RG, every pass he throws, the window is very small in coverage. Yeah, that was something Rico talked about at halftime, and I have to agree with both of you guys. We're used to Boogs having people wide open saying, dot this, dot that. Not many dots we've seen thus far in this offense. First and 10, ball to 38. Some strange alignment you got right here. Safety's kind of close together in the middle of the field. Two blitzers next to each other off the edge. They're both coming. Stafford and Harrison can't pull it in. Of course, Matthew Stafford play at Highland Park High School in Texas. I didn't even know he's high school. <laughs> like, come on, Coltrane. Enough's enough, man. <laughs> You're gonna go see, you get you on Stump the Schwab. They still got that. They still got that show going. I don't think so. But we'll bring it back if there's a chance for me to go out there and show what I got. The sports talk radio host for a long time. Come on, RG. Makes sense. It I need the sense. senseless knowledge. To get it out of my head. <laughs> it's like therapy for me. That's gonna be a neutral zone infraction, and unlike last week with Ivy Shraven and lights, you just take it. Yeah, you take it. There's no debate. You just take it. Yeah, Boogs accepted that. They didn't think twice about it. That's because you can't score. That's all. Her franchise saying he took the penalty because his offense has been struggleville. And it's going to be picked off by the franchise. And uh oh, it's a fat guy touchdown. Take it down. Take it down. Fat guy touchdown. You tails I respect you. I love it. My tails I respect you. And I've never seen someone cap at someone like that. He's yelling at him that I respect you. I've never seen that in my entire Madden career, someone passionately yelling at their opponent, saying I respect you after a pick six. I love you, RG. Deal with it. That's a mixed message right there. <laughs> We're going to fight, he's screaming. Look at this. J.J. Watt comes out of the cut. I think that's Charles Haley. That's the legend, Charles Haley. He's kind of spluce. You know how we feel about spluce guys getting on their horse, Coltrane. We're all so about nice. It. We got to let's look at this one more time, RG. Go ahead. Give it a call, Coltrane. My favorite know. camera angle. It's an interception. And any time a guy that's close to 300 gets seven, I feel pretty good. And it's another fumble. Wow. wow I know Books has his family here. Young children, this thing cannot get ugly. We got to keep this thing cool. You know, Boogs is going to keep his cool. Something like that. Most players are going to be frustrated. Yeah. They're going to be saying, "Come on, Boogs, still as focused as ever." On to the next play. Boogs is a. Let's go. That's another pick oh, off. This time it's night train lane. What you got, Tommy? I need it. <laughs> now he's yelling at Dubby. Well, here. Give me See, here's the thing. He's leaving his emotions out there, and I like it, and I respect it. But this is the same attitude we've seen Fran get franchise into trouble in the past. Goes to the running game, and Coleman spins to the plus side of the 49. And This is where you got to take that, that momentum and that energy and put it into focus, Coltrane. You need to put it into focused rage right now if you're franchise. You focus, execute, and then you let it all out. Did a lot of talking when he was here last time. It's a big possession for him. If he could get the touchdown and make this two possessions the way he's been playing defense, he'll have Boogs completely up against the ropes. Goes to Coleman here for a three-yard game. Zach, what's going on? Scott, Car uh, Bolt tried his little magic trick again on fourth and seven on his own seven. Carey cashed in. Carey got the ball back on another fourth down. Cashed in. Minute 42, he's up 28-24. So Carey coming back. Carey's got his own style. Backing up the big games. Yeah. Coach Rico was doubting him. Still a long way to go in that one. Well, check down to Coleman. Picks up the first down at the 38. A touchdown here. Would be very, very rough for Boogs. Yeah, and if I'm Boogs, I want Franchise to get the ball in that 72 overall Tevin Coleman's hands. Because I feel like if I could get a strip or a big hit on him, he's eventually going to cough that ball up. Add to that eight already giveaways that have happened in this game. Hands it off. Coleman 
Shakes and bakes. Down to the 20. Tevin Coleman putting in some work. Right when I'm calling him out, I'm saying put the ball in his hands. And sure enough, Franchise gives it to him, wins a tackle battle. But boom, almost off to the races. Boots needs to D up right here, hold him to three, keep this one possession. He's been winning a lot of those battles against Boogs. It's led to a lot of extra yards after contact. Boogs 29, Franchise only 25, as Boogs getting that old man stick. Works his way to the 16. They say as you get older, you, you, you lo start losing your stick work, Scott Cole. That's why I only play Tecmo Bowl on Nintendo. Two buttons. Bo Jackson, huh? A or B. Yeah, Bo yeah Jackson, and into guy. Bo Jackson, forget about it. Glitcher, cheeser. <laughs> you know I'm playing with the Bears, Walter Payton. Come on, I never used Bo Jackson. <laughs> Second and five. Ball to 16, up under center. Going to the running game, and Books can't stop the run. Zach, what's going on with Kerry Q? Scott, speaking of cheese, not only are they setting up <laughs> dinner, but Volterax down the left sideline, swerve, <laughs> down four, 50 to go. He's up three on Kerry. Swerve, bot, engage. That's very scary when Kerry Q, who's one of the best at stop yep. and swerve is giving those up the vault like that. That's not a good sign for the rest of the competition. And Tevin Coleman is absolutely destroying this Lions defense controlled by Books. And the good thing for this drive is getting becoming so important for Franchise because he is taking a ton of time off this clock with the lead. If he can make it two possessions going into the fourth quarter, it's going to be a lot for Books to overcome. This will probably be the final play of the quarter. Get ready to go to the fourth. Boogs number six in the world. Made every major. Right now his offense and defense are playing in a minor way. Yeah, he was pretty much at every major live event this year there was to be besides the Club Series Finals because he lost in the championship of the Club Series he qualified for which is the Pittsburgh Steelers. That was Misery who ended up winning that one. Misery got the W. So second and goal from the eight for Franchise. He's got a three-point lead as we head to the fourth quarter. Zach, what's going on in your game, my man? Scott, there's 17 seconds left. Kerry just dropped a dot down the middle of the field. He's down to the eight-yard line. He's got no timeouts. He trails by three, so he's guaranteed to be able to tie the game no matter what. But he also can't take a sack. He can't get hit in bounds. He just threw a really, really tight sideline pass to the corner. Could not tap his feet in. Let's see what he does here on second and goal. He's got RG3, can't take the sack, throws the ball away. And I'm going to keep it here, Scott, for one more play on third and goal. Gary not in that under center offense right now. He's gone to the gun bunch from the eight yard line, looking for a red zone play. Volt trying to find a way to hang on in this one. The first game of the group. Robert Griffin scrambling, throws the ball away, and it's going to be a field goal, Scott. I'll fill you in, but I'm assuming they're punching this one through. Is that an assumption you want to make? Are you sure? <laughs> We've seen a lot of kicks. It's mom spaghetti time over there. And what a catch by Franchise. The producer back there and the director, Cam, they love it when it happens that way. Switch back Thank to the you, game. Man. Touchdown, RG. And he's saying, where you at, Skimbo? He took that vertical wheel route that Skimbo has made so popular out the gun punch, sent it up the sideline. It's a route Ooh. Lucas did many times. Wow. He missed, missed the extra it. point. Franchise, man. We talked about <laughs> this. All the cap and all the talk, and it's okay, but you need to be able to execute. You can't go on this rant where you at, Skimbo and then missed the extra point. It's not clutch. Those points are free. It's ridiculous. Take a look at this again, RG. Nice this little vertical slant route. right here. Yep. Wheel. Wheeled it up. And then he misses the extra point. Which is bad. Could come back. We'll have to keep a watch on that. We'll let you know what also happened in the carry Q vault. We hear some cap and we'll bring that over to you. Just in a moment. First and ten. Stafford. Let's go to Zach. Tell me what happened, my man.
got. He's iced, but Kerry, ice water in his veins, knocks it through. And then, of course, the Volt Swerve attempt with three seconds left always stops the heart, but it fell harmlessly to the turf. This one's going to OT. I'll keep it to you. Try to ice ice baby, but yo VIP kicking it through. A ball game over there. A little Ooh. vanilla ice reference. <laughs> yeah, I was ready for that one. Boom. I know you got it on a cassette. I've seen your walk, man. <laughs> Second no and way. ten. Stafford. I never knew you were this cold. <laughs> it's like he woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning or something. Wasn't expecting this. We usually meet for breakfast, RG. What happened? I waited. And now it's just it's finally coming out. I got a bagel to go. <laughs> Every everything bagel toasted, cream cheese. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Third and ten. I know, I shouldn't be so grouchy. We had barbecue for lunch. Velvet cake. Maybe, yeah, the sugar high from the cake. I think that's what... It's got you going, dude. You're it's all too much. Up. I got to... You're all riled up. I got to settle down. I had you at the desk. Play-by-play <laughs> -play extraordinaire. I'm just a bum doing my job. That's a big play-by-play. And play I'm loving it. First and 10 from the 36. Boogs needs this. I love when I hear a yell, because that lets me know moments away from another game break. <laughs> <laughs> I ready, love the sir. game breaks, man. I got to know. I needs to know. First and ten. Stafford finds Cook, and I think that's what Boogs is going to have to do. He's going to have to dink and dunk if you have to. Get some momentum going. The franchise is deep. We can't take anything away from franchise's defense so far in this game. It has been playing superb. Not a lot of openings for Boogs. Well, he spent the most cap on defense. Second on his D line, and you've seen a lot of block sheds. You've seen some pressure come through. Here's the thing with that missed extra point. Boogs just needs to go and get himself three here, make it back to one possession, and him himself has to be feeling pretty good about his defense. That's four takeaways himself. He's probably going to need one more before everything's said and done. Zach, what's all the hooping and hollering? Scott. Volt was beginning to feel like a swerve guy. He threw an overthrow pick on his first possession. Carey was trying to run it into field goal range for the win. He fumbled, and then Volt keeps it on the ground, <laughs> cashes it in. He goes up 37-31 in overtime, so it's all over. Volt with an overtime win on not a swerve. Well, it was a run swerve. We're getting a little sticky with it. Yeah, he's got that chat, that Chris Johnson yeah. running back. CJ2K. Has the combine chemistry activated with him, so gives him an additional plus two speed. Yeah, with Hayward Bay and Chris Johnson. Of course, we'll have some Volt action coming up a little later. You know, Grandpa Volt's got to be ecstatic over there watching his grand boy start off 1-0. 1-0. Oh. Oh. He went 2-1 and one last time and didn't advance. Yeah, that's what he told he told his grand boy. He said, we're going 3-0 this time. We're not leaving it <laughs> no up to none excuses. of that. No excuses. No point differential nonsense. I'm telling you, Grand if Grandpa Volt gave me a big game talk, I'd be ready to go. Ready to go. I'd be all set. I'm not lying. First and 10 from the 30. Delay motion with Johnson. Forces it in to Cook for two yards. Well, you're in field goal range if you're Boogs, but you need to start picking up the pace here. I think you take a couple safe shots here and kick it through. Time starting to become a factor for Boogs, trailing by nine after the missed extra point from Franchise. We're just in game number one of Group H. I told you, Group G was Group Goon. This is Group Hell. Hell games all the way around. Good read. He finds Marvin Harrison, one of his biggest plays of the day. You've seen he's thrown four interceptions. Boogs? Four interceptions? Yeah, we don't see that often. 10 for 23, only 115 yards, one touchdown. We're finally getting it going on this drive. Go split back. Seen this look before. He's ran out of it, and he's thrown out of it. Where's the touchdown play for Books? Back in the end zone. Couldn't connect. It's frustrating. He had a step. That was a nice play. Post route over the middle, back of the end zone. One of the tender areas of the field in this situation, but the execution has just not been there. What's the playbook situation? It looks like Boogs is in the Jets formation. Jets playbook? You yeah. got that? Yeah, absolutely. Boogs is in the Jets offensive yeah. playbook, franchise in the Denver offense. So Jets playbook, that's probably why he's playing so bad. 
throw up underneath to Johnson. I'm glad I'm not the only one you're trolling. <laughs> Sometimes I got to dial one up for Rico over there. Yeah, Rico, we're bucking shots at the Jets. <laughs> Well, right now, the New York Jets have a nine-point lead over Boogs and the Detroit Lions. So, and what can you a, say? And this is a big play, Scott. We got third and goal right here. And if he doesn't get this, he's going to have to take his three to make this a one-possession ball game. So, it's a big play so far. One of the biggest plays of the fourth quarter. Throw to the corner. Oh! And it just got past him for a touchdown. My. Goodness, that was Brian Dawkins on the coverage, and Bugs needed that one. And that's the Bugs we're used to seeing. Precision of a watchmaker throws the out route, looking like Peyton Manning and a Marvin Harrison back in the day. Take a look at it again. Look at it. this. Take Go a picture. Run to the pylon. I got you. I'll put it on the money. A game of inches. Way to respond if you boobs. Now you got to go play some defense, but you got yourself a two-minute warning and three timeouts to do that, and Franchise has four turnovers of his own. Things just got interesting. Only two Two-point two. game. Yeah, good. Took the words right out of my mouth. Three timeouts for each of these guys. 2-0-9. Volt is waiting to face Boogs. He's already 1-0. Oh, man, you don't want to go in playing Volt down 0-1. Can't be a good feeling. Takes a big hit up the middle. That was Sean Taylor in there. He hasn't, he hasn't given up a lot of yards. Only 126 for the game. But it's those turnovers set up some short fields, gave Franchise some opportunities. Well, let's also remember that seven of these 16 points, Coltrane, came from that pick six that Franchise was yeah. able to get off yeah. the hit on the quarterback. Yeah, Charles Haley with a fat guy touchdown. Exactly. So the offense has been quite stale for him. We've had eight turnovers in this game. Who would have thought we'd be calling a defensive boom game? <laughs> he needs to stop, third and nine. Use the time out there. It's a big play, biggest play of the game right here. So far, Coltrane. The franchise doesn't get this, he'll be in fourth down in his own territory, only up two. This is huge. Third and nine. Needs to convert. There's the scream, and right wow. there at the marker. That my oh my, just got the first down. That execution was crispy. Look at the replay. Deion Sanders coming free off of the edge, mm. but Aaron Rodgers sees it, picks it up, goes to the hot read, gets vintage. How big has that Keenan Allen been in this game for franchise? And he's the only one that has that item. Yep. 96 overall, Keenan out. And it's a fumble! Oh, can you pick one up, Boogs? No. Can't pick it up. It's a loss of two, though. He'll use a timeout. And my friend, that is his final timeout. Wow. Boots comes up right there. Paul, Paul Krause lays a huge hit, but his team refuses to pick up fumbles. There was a scrum for it at the bottom of that. So you got franchise, he could take a minute off of this clock right here if he was to run the ball twice. With a 30 second play clock. That would leave Boogs with about 36 seconds. Second and 12. Runs a delay. You can see him almost about to go for that user strip. That user Paul Krause was holding on. This is interesting. Here it is, Coltrane. Third and seven. The question if your franchise here is you gotta make a decision. Do you run the ball? Potentially not get the first down, take 30 seconds off the clock, but you leave Boogs enough time to maybe make something happen, or do you go for the gusto? I think you got to go the, the air down. here, but it's got to be something in the flats or something safe, an incomplete. Whatever happens <laughs> if your franchise, you want to make sure the clock's still moving after. You could also roll out with Rodgers with a little pass throw. Watch goes with a quick one. And there it is. And that'll put this one on ice. Finally, man. Yeah, oh, you're gonna get your first win. Oh, yes. In a live major, Run that guy. Down. That's a Run the clock that's adult esports there. Oh my he gosh, they're telling him he's getting ahead of himself. You gotta kill the clock. Wow, you gotta be happy, happy for franchise though. Did you see that yell of relief that he had, Ooh. Coltrane? Fine.
Finally, man. There's a look at Bugs. Thank you, man. Poor Bugs. Out the way. If you were to look at this, as Bugs, you're probably thinking, hey, well, I'm going to get past Franchise. That's going to be one win. And then I'll face Volt. We'll see what happens. And then the tough one against Kerry Q in the final game. But now Bug, Bugs. Look at this. Look at this cold train. Look at him. I don't hear you now. He's excited. He is yelling at Mo. I guess Mo was calling him Mr. Owen 3. He didn't take too kindly to that nickname. He has something to say about it. Tell him how you feel, franchise. All right. Well, the game is over. It's a two point win for franchise. And I can tell you what. There's respect between those two guys. Books is a guy that's going to shake your hand no matter what. I can tell you that. And Good game. That's a beautiful thing about this sport, Coltrane, is no matter how tense things get, no matter how much emotion you leave out there, a lot of the times people are still going to show their respect after the game, uh, unless it's that, you know, we had the D. Jones Kiv incident. That, that was a one off. I know we had some tough times, but I just want to shake your hand and You're say good trolls. Those, those are three good games. That was fun. Uh, we got two more to go. Gib Gibbs will get back in here, but come on. Let's go back to Dave and the gang. You better troll Gibbs. <laughs> Well, I'll troll Gibbs. Gibbs. Yeah. I'll troll Gibbs. <laughs> Farley's got that completely down, Gibbs. I would say. Uh, guys, we thought Group G was great. Group H, I mean, both games, outstanding stuff. Rico, what did you see out of that first one? I saw Franchise taking the next step. Mm. Last tournament, he was out here for the challenge. He gave me the big game speech. He was hyped. He guaranteed 3-0. and He knew he wasn't going to lose. His emotions got the best of him. He was 0 for win free. This time... He was calm, cool, collected, got a win, moving on. Great. Well, before we hear from Farley about that second game, which was also really great, we do have Drea <laughs> down on the field with a fired-up franchise. <laughs> Drea, what do you got? Absolutely right, Dave. Franchise is super fired up. He just told me I can't wait to get this mic in my face. So here you go. What do you want to say? You know, all I've been hearing all day is Mr. Owen 3, franchise going Owen 3. Let me just tell you something real quick. I'm Burbank Chize. I'm here to do this. I'm representing my friends, my family, everything. I don't care who, who I'm going up against. I'm going to give them my best. This, welcome to the franchise show, because this is what this is all about right now. Wow. Very hyped up. Well, you specifically called out Sirius Mo. What is behind that? Because uh, Mo earlier was chirping, man. He was the one that said that. Him and Los, but, you know, I'm cool with Los, too. But, you know, it was a little, <laughs> a little fun. But, you know, Mo had to be like, yo, man, I don't know why you looking at that play sheet to check out what they're, what they're running or what their players are. Come on, man. I prepare. This is what I do. Wow, you seem very intense right now. Are you still having fun up here? Absolutely. <laughs> this is what it's all about. <laughs> well, you know what? Let me kind of change the subject a little bit. I know you got engaged recently. Let's soften you up a little bit. Tell me about your fiancé, and congratulations. Isabella, I know you're watching right now. You know, I love you to death, and, you know, I appreciate you dealing with all this crazy right now, you know. Um, <laughs> You know, I love you, baby. That's all I can say, you know. She's got a lot to handle with you, That's but she loves supporter. you. That's my biggest supporter out there. Okay. You know, I, I love her to death. Without her, I wouldn't be able to do all this. All right, well, it's a family affair. It's about the fiancés, the families. Let's send it back to Dave and Rico. Isabella got yourself a firecracker there.